What you doing now, Dave? Time to replace the microwave. Convection oven. Convection oven. Third time. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. This time the microwave went out, so... Ordered one on Amazon. Yeah. Now we gotta see if it's all beat to crap or not. The last time we had a microwave and convection oven sent to us, it was in Orlando, Florida, and it was dented. Remember that? Oh yeah. And they sent us another one, and guess what? It was dented. Yep. Then we finally got one that worked. So now, let's see how lucky we get with this one. Yeah, the plate's intact. <laughs> we currently are taking down a GE profile. That's the one that pooped on us after about three years. This is a Forte, and it was $350 on Amazon, which was a couple hundred bucks less than other ones. That looks awfully big. 30 inches. 30 inches. 15 and a half. Compared to that one. Fifteen and a half. Thirty inches. Okay, phew. It just looks bigger. Maybe because yeah, it's still does. in a box. <laughs> it looks a lot wider. It weighs what, about 60 pounds, 70 pounds? Uh, I'd say so. Yeah, probably about 50. Well, the styrofoam is not in very good shape. No, nope. that's been beat up pretty good. All that looks good. Let's put it up here and see about the other side. Do you want to take a look at the front and make sure this isn't dented in the front here? Yeah. you got to do the vet elation to go outside, too, don't you? Yeah. That looks good. Ooh. That's <laughs> pretty in there. Nope. It is very important to read and follow the directions and the installation instructions before proceeding. You're a man. You're not going to read instructions, are you? <laughs> That's my template. Let's see, that's the upper template. This way. How does this baby bolt up? Doesn't go from the top. It has these three holes. One, two, three. Got to be another template. This is the back wall template. And securing holes. Top has three, back has four. Oh. Where to put them? But that's if you find a wall stud. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Uh, yeah. So now what do you got to do? Take the old one down yeah, first? Yeah, I got to take the old one out. How easily is that going to fall? Really? So you need me in right here? I'm holding it right now. You got a new one of those for the new one? Yep, it's on the back of the microwave. Oh, are those screws in anything? I don't know. Doesn't really feel like it. But the last microwave we got was the same exact model that was here before, so we didn't have to change its plate. You think they've done a little pecker hunting? Good grief. Looking for a stud? Yeah. Uh, yeah. One here, so there should be one about here. And that's it. That's all that holds that up there? That and the bolts on the top. Ooh. Yeah. That goes about right there, maybe. 
should be in the middle of these things. Well, you'll use a template to figure it out, right? Well, hopefully. Then you could add some more of your own pecker holes. I can. You gotta change the blower around? Right now they got it so it's venting out the front. I want it to vent out the back. I gotta pop these holes out, looks like. Check the instructions. Ah, I threw them away. <laughs> Get it in that little groove. Yeah. Let's go back to the instructions here just to make sure. You? Wow. Well, well you I'm don't have YouTube on this one, so I'm getting older. <laughs> See now this thing was in here. Like this. Uh-huh. And they're saying just to take it and roll it. Like this. Seems to me it'd sit a little low. Wouldn't you think so? Yeah. So, I'm thinking they're full of on that. Full of what? Full of uh, excrement. So I'm thinking this wire has to go in here and in here. Contrary to directions. Contrary to directions. <laughs> that goes there. Give it one of those. I gotta relearn the whole new front end of this thing now. Whoa, that flows. Sure does. Get new foil tape put on, huh? Yep. Well, you went and got that. I cleaned all that up out, out of there. That was a little gross, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a little, little grimy. What's the um, foil for? That's to seal up the wall, number one. Number two, it's kind of a heat barrier, or it's a little bit more fire resistant. Got to drill another hole for the cord? Yeah, right here. Oh. Amongst all these other ones. <laughs> Was it on the template? Mm -hmm. And it. And then I wonder if these holes match up at all. <laughs> what is that? I wish I had a square. It'd make life a little easier. But what's the width of this? I'm 30. Better be 30 and a quarter. Might be the same hole? Might be. Close. Very close. It looks like it got extended once Several already. Times. <laughs> And that's it. This is the hole we're probably wanting. And this one. Yep. We're 
Well, find did. out. <laughs> all right. Why don't you put the template up there and see if it all matches up? Like poke the holes in here. Yeah, you yeah. really got that. Cool. Center line is right here. So. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. So what we do is we go like this. What's that hole? Tape. Oh, just to tape it up there? Yeah. I'm going to use this just for alignment purposes. Well, I'm going to just make a dot there so when I hold the plate up, I know I got it in the right spot. Wow. I know this is rocket science. That's close enough. And I'm going for roughly there and there. Search for studs now. Ah. Uh -huh. Got one right here. That's right. <laughs> so I already found it. Look at all the same pecker holes. Yeah. That's the right time on it. That's because I did it. <laughs> All right. And there it is. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that nice and shiny? How many beers, Dave? It's going to be a lot. I mean, I, I, haven't, I haven't tallied it up yet. It's going to be a lot. Better start now, huh? Yeah. We cooked our first batch of cookies in there. A little bit. I put right in the middle on a rack. And these back here got a little more done than over here. I did not spin them. On the other microwave convection oven, we always found we had to kind of bring them as far to the right and forward, and then we would spin them. This one seems to have done a little bit better as far as evenness goes, but instead of being 12 minutes, it took 15. But so far, we're liking it. The microwave part does really well, and it's very quiet.
Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.